Hello, my name is Lilia Kirilenka and I'm your tutor for P1. And in this very video, I'm going to talk to you about this exam. Well, first of all, what we need to acknowledge is that CIMA consists of exams that are tested using questions that are test questions like E1, like P1, like F1. And then the information that you study there is going to be used in case study exam. So when you come to case study exam, you need to have solid knowledge of whatever was asked about in previous exams, in those uh, question exams. Okay, but not only that, Another problem is that the information that you learn in these low-level papers in operational level exams is going to be used to build up the knowledge for management level and then to build up the knowledge for strategic level. Meaning that is absolutely important that you understand what we are studying here, that you grasp the logic so that your studies, so that your studies for a strategic and management level are a little bit easier. So P1 is an operational level exam. And during this exam, you are going to learn a bunch of cool stuff. Well, one of the things that you are going to learn is how to set up prices, which is absolutely important for any organization because you need to have this logic of how to do that in order for your company to be profit making. Also, you will learn how to focus the company's results and that would be used to prepare budgets. And budgeting process is a very painful process in many organizations. And should you be an expert in that, well, you will bring value and that will impact on the salary that you are receiving. You are going to learn how to apply linear programming to decision making. So you will be able to stress your forecast and you will be able to say okay if we do that the expected result is that if you do that the result is going to be like that meaning that your employability is going to be increased and it's going to be increased even further because you will be aware of the risks and uh, you, you will be aware of how to deal with uncertainty as for syllabus content, it consists of cost accounting for decision and control. And here we are going to learn marginal costing, absorption costing. And these are topics that are not understood very well by students. That is because it is most likely that you come from accounting background. And in here we have quite different logics. So I will help you to grasp that logic and be okay with that. Budgeting and budgetary control, it takes 20% of the questions of the syllabus and we will learn how to make these budgets. Short-term commercial decision-making, like uh, what price to choose when selling and risk uncertainty in the short term. So that is going to be the smallest part of the syllabus. As for exam structure, the exam, the P1 exam, is going to last for 90 minutes and you will be given 60 questions. They are going to be test questions and all of them are supposed to be answered if you are aiming at a pass rate. And all questions are equally weighted. So it means that it cannot be that question one will bring you more than question two, for example. As for an exam, we will have uh, several types of questions. There is going to be multiple choice. So multiple choice meaning that you can choose, let's say, A, B, and C. So three variants, three options, or maybe two, or maybe one. Multiple response, uh, where you will have to write something. Uh, you will have to fill in the blank. You will have to drag and drop. So, for example, you will be uh, given 
uh, techniques and uh, where they might be used and you will have to drag, drag and drop them. And hot spots. Hot spots, well, meaning that you will have to choose one of the options. For example, you are given a graph and you need to show which is uh, that spot which uh, shows a uh, break even point, break even quantity, or break even price. So these are the types of questions and you will see what is the question well by by the scenario this scenario will kind of indicate what you need to do. Okay, uh, what next? <laughs> well, students like to ask how much time they need. Mm, let us think about that. Well, first you will need to watch all the videos and it's going to take something like 35 hours to do that. But not only you need to watch videos, you need to make notes and sometimes you need to rewatch something, for example, absorption costing or reliances, because these are the hardest parts of the syllabus. So meaning that you will spend something like 20 hours extra rewatching them, um, or maybe you will like to rewatch them before the exam. And also you will have to watch practice videos to see how the questions are update, uh, attempted, uh, where I'm going to talk about these little things that might be missed by students when reading the scenario. So next, you will have to do the quizzes in the system. So actually do some self-preparation. And also, you will need to practice. Practice a lot yourself. So these are average numbers. And of course, for some of you, it may be longer. For some of you, it may be shorter. But the more you practice, the more relaxed you are when you come to the exam. <laughs> and the more relaxed you are, the better chances are of you getting your pass rate. Well, pass rates in the exam are around 70%, and meaning that you have to study, study hard. And we are going to support you in the process. So what are we offering? We are offering lecture videos. I will tell you the theory. I will explain to you why is that or not uh, how to memorize that in a better way. Why? What is the logic of that question? And so on. We will make some practice videos, meaning that you will see how each and every question, type of question is going to be attempted. And I will also talk about how the syllabus is going to be tested in your case study exam. So when you are preparing for P1, you kind of think about what are your key takeaways for your case study. You will receive slides in PDF format. You will receive study notes. And of course, there will be quizzes that are going to test your knowledge. There are going to be some practice tests that we all go into our time together. And the, the most important part of our support is the group chat. Because quite often you will be stuck with a question. You will not know why the answer is that. And if you open a book, you will just see that the right answer should be D, for example. And I will be able to explain it to you in our group chat. I will tell you, hey, look, you missed here something. Or, for example, you know how to memorize that? Well, try doing that. And we will have weekly webinars, and they are very important for your success because I will just make sure that you are up to date with the knowledge that you were supposed to cover for the week. Okay, so that is it. And uh, as for the benefits uh, from tuition, please know that uh, the important is that you will have uh, important areas stressed, so you will not miss them. Uh, you will be given with the mistakes that students often make so that you try to keep away from them. You are going to have a weekly webinars uh, to motivate you to study, as I've already discussed. And you will have the ability to ask questions. And most important is that we will support you through all your SEMA journey. So 
yes, you passed your P1 exam, but then you need to know how to take the knowledge and bring it to case study exam. Or yes, you passed this operational level, but now you need to take this key takeaways and go to your P2 without the need of revising all of the material, all of uh, this 35 hours worth of uh, lectures. So we will help you with that. So join us today and get prepared to your SEMA exams uh, well, with our help, with our support. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.